welcome back to another video. So you guys wanted to see um, some videos about my Sweet 16, which is this weekend, which is absolutely insane. So today I'm going to be showing you how I'm doing my Broadway themed, or like they could really be for any themed, uh, goodie bags. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so um, I found these adorable bags that have gold stars on them from Dollar Tree. They come 25 in a pack and they fit my theme perfectly because I went with like a gold and red and black theme. And then I was just putting, I put some candy in it. I put a pixie stick, a cow tail, a Hershey kiss, and a little butterman that says thank you on it. Um, I got the candy at Dollar Tree. I absolutely love the thank you mints. They're literally adorable. So it's basically that simple. And then just because my party is Broadway themed and I wanted to make it somewhat Broadway themed, I made these cute little Playbill magnets and I'm going to show you how to make them in just a minute. So I'm just going to put one of these in every goodie bag as well. And then from Michaels I got this red ribbon for 50 cents for a roll which is really, really good. And I'm going to make a tag out of card stock. This is really simple to make. You just have to punch a hole in the corner of the card. And then I printed out these tags that just say, thank you for coming. I hope you had a good time. Love, Megan. So I'm just going to cut one of these out. And then we're going to put it on to this card. I'm just using tape, but I will be using glue for the real ones. And then we're going to take our really pretty red ribbon and cut some just about this much. Okay, there we go, finally. Then I'm going to take my goodie bag and give it like a twirl on the top. I'm gonna to put the little tag, the, the ribbon through the tag, if I can get it through the tag. Then, as simple as that, tie it on to the bag, tying a bow on the ribbon, using, with, I cannot talk, with the ribbon. And it is that simple, that cheap, This cost, these cost me probably like 25 cents to make each bag, um, maybe even less than that. And. They're really cute. The little playful magnet is there. You could even throw some confetti in here to make it a little better. Um, really simple, really cute, but also gets the message across like, thanks for coming and I hope you had a good time. And I might be buying more candy to add to these because there's really not a lot in there at the moment. So that's why I'm only making one in the video today, but by the end of the week, obviously for my party, I will have like 25 of those. And for my court, because not that they're extra special than any of the people at my party, but they did spend $60 on court, court dresses and, you know, they are coming early and helping me do my makeup and hair, we're getting ready together. Not that they're extra special people, but I did make them a different kind of goodie bag, which is basically the same, but it just has extra candy in it and it's going to have a bigger um, magnet in it. That's a picture of a Broadway sign. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me show you now how to make these adorable Playbill magnets. You're going to need magnetic paper. It comes $12 for a large roll at Michael's. You're going to need a paintbrush and Mod Podge. You're going to need scissors. And you're going to need something to put your Mod to, to put the magnets on. And then you're going to cut out the magnets into smaller pieces. And you're going to cut out the Playbill printables, which I just made this on Google Docs and printed them out. And then you're going to peel the paper. It's sticky magnetic paper, by the way. It's so hard to peel. After a whole five minutes, I got one to peel. So anyway, you're going to peel the backing off and then you're going to stick the paper printout on. Now, you can literally just be done like this, but Mod Podge gives it like a like glow kind of and like shine. So I'm just gonna put it on this little paper. 
I'm using a plastic sheet, which is something that you get at the craft store, um, just so that it peels off easily because I'm kind of just, you know, roughly painting it, mod podging it. So I use a plastic sheet so I don't have to like, cut it out, it'll just rip right off after. The ink kind of like leak, not leaks, kind of um, kind of, what is it called? I don't know. So you don't want to do too many strokes, you just want to like get the Mod Podge on there and yeah. <laughs> so obviously I've just repeated that process many, many times to make all of these magnets and I'm going to repeat the process again to make the bigger quart magnets. And it's really simple, um, probably should have like done it all at one time. Like I should have just like used the whole sh magnet sheet, peeled off the backing, stuck them on, Mod Podge it, and then cut them out. I didn't really think of that, but now that I'm thinking of it, that would have been way, way easier. So that's what I'm going to do for the bigger magnets, that will be way, way easier. Um, but yeah, these goodie bags are really cute, like, it matches my theme perfectly, the stars and the red tag and the red bow, it just perfectly matches my theme, and the playbill in it, like, obviously, that, that matches the theme, obviously, and it's super cute, super simple and easy, and I'm sure the guests will love having these and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one on each of the plates at the dinner table so this is just adorable and my court buddy bags obviously they just have more stuff in them because the girls in my court did spend over $60 on a dress for my court so they deserve a little extra special treat and they're helping me out big time with this party so they just deserve something a little extra special not that I love them more because I don't but you know and yeah well that's it for my broadway theme goodie bags they could technically be for any theme or you could change them up to make them fit anything else. and yeah that's it so thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you guys next time remember to subscribe and join the hashtag rogues fam and i hope to see you guys soon and again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, YouTube Studio is like broken right now. Nothing is updating, so it's a little bit harder for me to like work with my channel right now. So just be a little, give me a little break. I'm trying my best. And I should be uploading again very soon. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!